fulfilling your potential and achieving your goals. In this video, I'll talk about how the creator of the most popular show in the world, Squid Game, and how the creator of the most popular song in the world right now, Nitma Happy, overcame many hurdles, obstacles, and failures to gain worldwide acclaim, be successful, and I'll share lessons we can learn from this that we can apply in our everyday lives, and I'll do that at the end of the video, so be sure to stay tuned. So let's start with Squid Game director Wang Dong Hyuk, and I hope I nailed the pronunciation, because I've been practicing people, so if any Korean people are watching, let me know in the comments below if I nailed that. So for those of you who don't know, Squid Game is a Netflix show that follows a group of 456 people who play a series of children games with the prize being 45 billion won, which is around $35 billion. And most of them are in debt or some kind of trouble, so they need this money to live a nice new life. The show has a great cast, storyline, visuals, and soundtrack, so it's definitely worth watching if you haven't already. This helped the show go on to become one of the most popular in the world. It's gone viral. We've seen the memes, we've seen the costumes, we've seen the Dalgong making, we've even seen people playing the games in real life without the killing part. I think. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for the show. So the director Wong came up with the concept in 2009 whilst living with his mother and grandmother. The director actually pitched the script over 10 years ago to multiple studios and kept getting rejected. In fact, the Wall Street Journal reports that some of the feedback from those studios was that the script was far too grotesque and unrealistic for them to accept at the time. And at one point the director had to stop writing the script because he was having money difficulties and had to sell his $675 laptop. However, however, after staying persistent for over 10 years, the show was finally picked up in 2019 by Netflix. The director believed that one of the reasons for this was themes such as classism during turbulent times were more relevant than ever today. In fact, it goes on to say that the world has changed and all these points made the story very realistic for people compared to a decade ago. Fast forward to today and Squid Game is number one in over 90 countries and is set to become the most watched show in Netflix history. It's racked up a staggering 3.2 billion minutes watched according to Nielsen and it's earned Netflix almost $1 billion in impact value. Absolutely incredible. Now onto the story of Nima Happy Singer of the most popular viral song of the year is Seen After which also means Give Me Life. The song's also known by its catchy lyrics, I love you more than my life. But before I go into that, I'm trying to hit my goal of hitting 1K subscribers this year. So if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe and help me hit my goal. But back to the video. So Nim A Happy is everywhere. If you've not seen this song yet, you might have been living under a rock for the last two months. But the song has got multi-million views on both TikTok and YouTube and it's being shared, sung, and praised by some of the biggest celebrities in the business, including Bella Hadid, Drake, Cardi B, Chunks, and Trevor Noah. But how did it all start for the singer? Nima Happy began her music career in 2015, posting videos on YouTube and performing in local events. Growing up, Nima used to listen to popular Somali singers such as Khatr Dahir, Sara Ahmed, and Zainab Ege. And she first got into music when she was little. She used to play the guitar and wanted to perform, but she waited until she was married and had children. And now she sometimes performs with her musician husband. And fun fact, the song is seen after was actually released in 2017 when she performed it for RTV, a Kenyan-based Somali TV station. And that's now the viral video that most of us have seen where she performs the song. The song was widely shared on TikTok this year and went absolutely viral. Viral and now it's viral across all platforms and has been heavily shared by everyone. You cannot escape this song. Whilst this was great for Nima Happy's recognition, she actually wasn't being rewarded for the success of her song. Once the song gained popularity, people were streaming the song via unauthorized uploads on Spotify and on YouTube, meaning unfortunately Nima Happy was not getting any reward from this. However, the good news for her is that she has now gained a distribution deal with Polydor Records, a subsidiary of Universal, so she will now be able to be rewarded for the success of her song, which is great news for her. After her success, Nitma Happy went on to say, I can't describe it in words, but I felt overjoyed. I felt like the world had finally recognized me, that I'm known internationally. 
Beautiful words there from her. So what lessons can we learn from these two exceptional people? So first of all, believe in yourself no matter what anyone says. If you are passionate about something and it makes you happy, go for it no matter what anybody says. The second point is have a clear goal in mind. Both Wang Dong Hyuk and Nim Ahapi had clear goals of being international successes. Now having clear goals is proven to make you much more likely to achieve them as you will naturally be drawn towards working towards these goals both consciously and subconsciously. So goal setting is key. And perhaps the most important lesson of them all, you only truly fail when you stop trying. On your journey towards achieving your goals, you will always have bumps along the road, setbacks. Success doesn't always come overnight. It can take weeks, months, even years. The main thing is to stay persistent, don't ever give up, and stay true to yourself and your dreams, and hopefully success will come your way. That's it for my video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment below if you enjoy these insights into Nima Happy and Huang Dong Hyuk from Squid Game. Big shout out to Ikran Dahir from BuzzFeed, who's wonderful article about Nimo gave me a lot of the facts that I use for this video and you can read that full article which is a great read in the description below. So thanks for watching and let's keep chasing those goals!